and then you guys are going to do it with polynomials because we've been practicing using polynomials. So an example like this, what I want you guys to see is we have an expression. So over here, we just had a, a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator, right? Now we have an expression with fractions in the numerator and an expression with fractions in the denominator. All right. So what we want to do in this case to help us simplify this is I would say to get rid of my denominators. So you can see I have not only you know, one or two denominators, I now have four different numbers in my denominator. I add the denominator, 3, 4, 6, and 12. If you guys remember last class, Britt, I know it was last week, but remember we had denominators and we found the least common multiple or least common denominator of those two, right? Do you guys kind of remember that back in the day? You can pull yours out too if you need to to help you out. Um, so now we have four of them. So we need to find the least common multiple of all four of these denominators, which we could say the least common multiple of all four of these would be 12. So now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the numerator by 12 and the denominator by 12. And when you do that, you're gonna, it's going to look something like this. Because you have to make sure you apply distributive property. Does everybody see what I did? I basically distributed the 12 into every single fraction by applying the distributive property. There you go. Sit back. Sit back. Roll back. Roll shoulders. There you go. Shoulders roll back. Okay. Now, what's nice about the what's nice about finding the least common multiple? Do you guys see that every single one of these numbers evenly divides into my least common multiple? Does everybody see that? So guess what happens? When you multiply every single expression by the least common multiple, every denominator divides into that least common multiple. Since it divides into it evenly, we're no longer going to have a denominator. Because watch, how many times does 4 divide into 12? 3. How many times does 3 divide into 12? 4. 6 goes into 12? 2 times. 12 goes into 12? 1 time. So therefore, I'm now left with 3 times 1 plus 4 times 2 all over 2 times 5 minus 1 times 1. And guess what? Now I have no more denominators because all those denominators evenly divide into my least common multiple. And now I just finally simplify my solution. So I have 3 plus 8 over 10 minus 1 and I get 11 over 9, final answer. Okay, so if you guys will flip up your focus lesson, flip it over, what you guys will see is you have the exact same thing that I have.